Hey there everybody. I wanted to do a video today showing how to make a quick mod for Farm Simulator 2019. This is going to be using the default equipment and this is a safe way of doing it. So uh, you're going to need the game. You're going to need to go to this website here and make an account if you don't have one. And you're going to have to log in because you'll notice there's no downloads up here. But as soon as I log in, there's a downloads tab and you'll want to go there and right here is a whole bunch of stuff to download depending on what you want to do but you want the Giants editor right here so you're going to want to download that install it if you don't know how there's other videos showing you how to do that so once you get it downloaded and installed uh, you're going to want to start your game up like I got right here right now and you're going to want to um, you need to go to the store so if we just, however you can get to a store page, because you're going to want to figure out what you want to mod. If it's a tractor or whatever, if it's a tractor, you're going to want to go in here and find it. I am modding a rake today, a tether. So I'm going to go in here. Here's the tether. What we're getting right now is we just need to know this name exactly, because all this equipment, there's so much of it, you need to know what the exact name is and you need to have the manufacturer wrote down so you need all this here with wrote down or saved somewhere so you know what it is okay and then once you do that you want to shut your game off uh, that will save you from getting corrupt files or other weird things if you're advanced of course you can do it with the game on there's ways around it but just to be safe you want to shut it off for now Launch your Giants editor. Okay, now you want to go up here, file, right here. New mod from game. Give it a couple seconds, it's thinking. Okay. Top two right here, this is pretty cool if you didn't know already. These are the default maps, the Europe and the American map. So if you want to load that up, just click on that. But we're doing the tether, and I kind of know where it's at in this list because I've kind of explored already, but we're looking for the HIT 12.14 right there. So there's the rake, click OK. It's going to default, which I just leave default, OK. There's the rake, all right. Now if you wanted to change some stuff here, you could at this time. But we don't, I don't this time, so I'm just going to instantly say publish mod. And here's the important part, this has to all be filled out. And if it's not all filled out correctly, the mod won't, you won't see it in the store or it won't be in the game. Especially right here, this area here, I just had to click. I had to force that open and then uh, you got to name it. If you don't name it, it will not show up. And it's just good to put a description in. I believe, I'm not for sure if this, but I just always put it in. Um, just gonna do it real quick. You'll want to fill that out better. Okay, now here's important. So, what this is here is this is gonna be the store icon. This is the store image. So we gotta go find the image in your default installation where your game's installed. So it's gonna be in Steam somewhere more than likely. I have a shortcut made right here. But you can see my path right here. Program files, Steam, Steam apps. Yours is going to be something similar to this, but then you're going to go data, and then vehicles, and all we're after is that picture. And remember I told you to write down the manufacturer. Well, the manufacturer of this was that Pottinger, whatever, right here it is, Pottinger, I don't know, but, and then here's the rake, and right here, this is the picture we want. That's all we want. Click open puts the path in there you want to put that in here too same thing it saved the path luckily we don't have to dig it back out you definitely don't want to mess with this you can change the price but I just leave it default for now 
and then we're going to want to click OK. It's going to want to put it somewhere. And I put it in the same directory as this right here because this is going to be a zip file. See how it's already zipping it? So we want to put it in the default, which was documents uh, right here. And I'm just going to name this ws underscore rake just for quick. Boom, boom. Now we'll pull up my file here and we will go to documents and here here's my rake this is the file it just made and um also it's gonna have one down here too but for simplicity we ain't gonna get into that right now let's just worry about this rake now also you might not see this little icon i have 7-zip installed uh, whatever kind of zip even windows has default zip nowadays so uh, this is a zip file uh, all the mods are always zips so I also have notepad plus plus installed and, and I can actually edit these files without really unzipping them but you might want to unzip yours that's up to you but you'll have to zip it back up I'm doing this just for easiness to make it as easy as possible so in here there's a couple things right off the bat this file right oops okay oops here we go this file right here it puts everything in but it forgets a very important line and that's the multiplayer line so i just always come right here at the end of this line right here and i hit enter space down and remember i said this is notepad plus plus you can use regular notepad but this is much this is a lot nicer software and it's free so just make you some spaces now I don't have the line of code but I do know that if I go back to my mods just grab one from here here's the line here's the multiplayer line you want that line of code right there exactly copy that or you might have to type that out pause the screen and we want to paste that right in here okay so that makes it multiplayer I'm gonna save it and when I close it, you will notice right here, see how it's saying, do you want, yes, I want to update it. And I didn't even have to unzip it. I can close this. This is the one I robbed the code from. Okay, so that, that file is done already. But this one here now, if we go in here, this is where you can edit stuff. And right here speed limit okay this is what i definitely it says 19 but that's kilometers if you're Amer if you do english you're gonna or american you're gonna want this something different i want it at about 20 miles per hour and i know that's about 35 kilometers that was the main thing of doing this mod just to change that speed because that rake is so slow PTO RPM, you can start reading all this stuff in here. Here's the wheels, pretty cool stuff. This is all code linking stuff up, don't want to really mess with none of that. But <clears throat> if it's a tractor, you're going to see uh, engine and torque and stuff. And I'll probably do a video later modding the engine. I'm just looking at the attacher joints here and stuff, it's pretty cool. There's the work areas and just a bunch of HTML code but you've seen right at the top to change the speed it's right there I changed it and then down here is all your animation stuff <clears throat> so that's pretty much everything I just want to change just real quickly I wanted to show you and now if we you can change like I said anything you want in here but we want to save it yep and we'll just close out and then it's gonna say hey, you want to update it yep all right that's pretty much it like i said if you unzipped it then you're gonna want to rezip it up and everything but right here it is and then i take and copy this and i go back right here is the actual directory of where you want to put your mod this is now if i put paste that back in here our rake <clears throat> up here at the top now 
that when we launch the game, that rake will show up in our mods list. All right, that's it. Hope this helps. I know it'll help me in two years when I need to come back to it. All right, thanks a lot. You guys have a good one. Later.